Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to insert a signature into different documents. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So I want to start off with a couple of easier, simple ways to do a quick signature, maybe if you're in a rush. And I'm going to also go through a more complex one that isn't really that complex, but it will take a little bit more time than the first method. So the first way I would recommend doing would be to head over to the Start Menu and you want to open up paint so just P-A-I-N-T like Windows Paint basically and I know they're going to be redesigning paint in newer versions of Windows 10 but for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users this should look pretty similar and even for the new version of paint that's going to be coming out or that or that is already released for Windows 10 it should look pretty similar to this and you have different colors up here you can choose from so if you wanted to actually like use your mouse, and if you had a stylus that you had maybe a touchscreen laptop for, this could be perfect. And all you would do would just be to drag your signature over here, like over the space that you basically have in here. This is like where you'd be writing your signature. And then once you had your space in here, all you had to do, if you wanted to save this as a signature, would be to open up the snipping tool. So go back to the start menu, type in snipping tool, and you want to open that up. And I'm going to click on New on the Snipping Tool feature. And then using the rectangle shape, which should be the default shape right here, by clicking this drop down, you can change it. I'm going to just select over the signature area right here. And I'm going to click on File, Save As. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop. I'm just going to save it as one. And I'm going to save it to the desktop for easy access here. And then I'm going to just close out of the paint window. So let's say I have a WordPad document, and WordPad, if you're not familiar with it, it's pretty similar to Microsoft Word. Let's just say I'm just going to paste this in. So I could just drag and drop it in, or I could go up to this paste button right up here, and click on the little drop, and then paste if I had it copied. And if you had any Word document or anything, you could just move this all the way to the bottom, just do some backspaces when you're going to paste it in. If you're going to put your name up here, you can, and then just put this in underneath. So if I close out of here, let's say the alternate method I was referring to earlier would be if we wanted to have a more handwritten node. So if you had a printer, fax, scanner that was able to scan documents onto your computer, then this second method would probably be more ideal for you, especially if you have a few extra minutes to spend. And this would entail using the Windows fax and scan utility that's included in Windows. So all you would do is just open up the start menu type in fax and scan. The best match that comes up should say Windows fax and scan right above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And then you would perform a new scan here. If you had any printers that were hooked up that have already been registered to the computer, you'd want to make sure you turn them on and scan them in here. And then if you had any images in here once they've been scanned, you would just right click on it, save as, and then you want to save it to desktop somewhere. And again, this would be a JPEG file format. And then again, you would open up your Word document or WordPad in my case. And it probably would resemble something more like this example that I already have saved on the desktop. And this would be a more traditional kind of signature. But in the past, I've used both different methods. I've used Windows Fax and Scan as well as the paint functionality. And they both serve their purpose. So I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.